Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. I'm gonna show you how to do this today. <laughs> it's so cute. It is, um, it's gonna be a design space tutorial, so I'm gonna show you how to, you know, download the file and figure out how to do this stuff. It's so cute, it's, um, it's stacked, you can see. So I ended up putting ribbon. I mean, look how thick that is, and it's just so, so pretty. Um, when I saw this file, I knew I wanted to do it, and I really wanted to go with brighter colors. So you can kind of see that here. So much fun. Okay, so um, I'm currently logged in, which is why you could see that you could just download it. If you don't have a membership, you have to buy the file. So uh, you have the option of buying, or you can try out the membership for a dollar. So I have a link um, in the body of this video. You can try out the membership for a full month for just a dollar. Make sure though that when you do all of this, you go through my link and you also enter in the code. The code is the useless crafter 30. And the reason why I say that is um, it's a dollar no matter what, whether or not you put in the code, because if you use the link, it's, it's an automatic dollar trial period. But if you decide to keep the membership like I have, then that's when that, um, that code comes into play. It's 30% off automatically every month but you have to enter it in when you first get the membership. So even though it's the trial phase and it's a dollar, make sure that you put in that code so that it's applied um, going forward. So I love it. And the reason why I love it is actually, you can see it right here. Um, all the images and all the fonts come with this, commercial usage allowed. So I no longer track which fonts I get from where, I get all my fonts from here because there are a bazillion fonts. And if you see my projects, and I've had my membership now for well over a year. So I'm pretty sure any project, like um, once I started having this membership, I did not download any fonts that I can't use because now I download any font and I know that I can use it on a project and I can sell it and not worry about having um, the commercial license. So to me, the fonts alone, is totally worth and it ends up being twenty dollars a month with the discount so it's you know it's a little bit more than design space but you don't have to buy like a font here and there which would end up costing almost the same so now instead i get all the files and all the fonts for free uh not for free <laughs> i paid for it but you get you have a whole library sorry um okay so when you go to download this is a big file. It comes zipped. It's right here. It's the Christmas ornament 3D layer. So you double click on it. Like I said, it's a zip file. You come into here and this is the Christmas houses. Go into this folder as well. And we want the SVG file. So we're gonna go into the SVG folder and each layer you have to bring in. So basically I pulled all these layers and I moved them into my downloads, okay? Then you gotta upload each one. So let me show you what that looks like. So when you go into design space, oops, let me get out of this. I'm gonna go into design space. This is my last tutorial, sorry, I forgot to get out of it. If you haven't done it, it's so stinking cute. It's the, the mini Amazon boxes, I know, I'm like, a bazillion projects going on right now. Okay, so let's go out into the canvas. Let's go home to the home page. I have this up. And it's a really, really fun file. Um, it cuts, you know, it was fine. I did mine at four inches. And honestly, I think the only trouble I had was with the reindeer. The reindeer was so delicate. And it made it... Um, but let's go over here. I would probably make it just a little bit bigger. Um, here's my layered ornament. Let's go over here. And it's taking a while. Sorry, it's raining. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Or it's just spooky weather. Okay, so here's my layered ornament. I'm gonna go and customize it. And, oh man, come on, design space. Okay, here we go. And I'm gonna show you kind of, we're gonna 
skip ahead and I'm gonna show you what the canvas looks like and then I'll show you how to upload and manipulate the file, okay? So because I knew I wanted to use, um, I didn't repeat any colors except for the white. The white, I felt like some of it I wanted, I wanted more white to show so that it, the colors don't drown each other out. So what you wanna do is you wanna, you know, select each one and make it a different color so that when you go to the make it page, you know, you know, each one just goes in and it cuts. So I had no problems cutting any of this. Let me show you the one that, that gave me a little bit of trouble. It's these antlers, you see that? And I, and the little uh, chain, you know, like the, I don't know what you call it, you know, the rope to put her, the, to keep all the reindeer together. So that gave me trouble. This is at four inches. I might, if you could, if your tree is big enough, I would probably do this maybe four and a half inches. I, I think four and a half inches would have given me just a little bit thicker pieces right here and it would have been easier. But anyway, so my white pieces are these. It is layer seven, layer eight, layer one, and layer 10. And I like that because it gave me enough like definition, I guess, or like enough of a contrast so that my other colors really stood out as well. I think it would have been lost a little bit if I actually used all 10 different colors. So, okay, so here are my white layers. Here are my colored layers. Let me show you what it looks like from the Make It page and then we'll go backwards. So at four inches, all my white were on one sheet, which you can see we can make it a little bit bigger, right? And then here, every page. Every page is a different color. You're gonna just put it together. And let me go back to this page because on this page, when you go to see this, um, this tells you the order. So it's super easy to put together. Um, I will do a tutorial on it because I like using the foam tape and I'll show you how I did the ribbon. Um, but it is super simple if you wanted it to be flat, right? So if it looked like this where it's just all, like all the layers just on top of each other, you would just glue it down and be done with it. I'm gonna show you in the tutorial how to put this ribbon in between the two layers and um, stack it, you know, with the foam tape. <clears throat> All right, excuse me. Let's go back to design space. If you wanted to do it the way I have it, then you will want to do two, you wanna do a duplicate layer of the back because the ribbon is gonna go between this layer and one more full layer so that it's all covered, which I definitely recommend. And then I put my little sticker on there. So just all you would do is you would duplicate this. Okay, that's how you do this one. Let's start over, because I'm gonna show you how to bring it in. The file's a little funky. Um, nothing hard, but just at first I, you know, it just made me think for a second, like what is going on here? So you're gonna go to upload. This is after you've downloaded the file and you moved all your files over so that it's unzipped, right? Um, I'm gonna upload one so you can see it. So you're gonna go to upload image, browse, and I believe I put it in my downloads. So let's go over here. Yep, and here's all my layers, right? So I'm gonna do layer 10, for instance. I'm gonna double click on it. It's gonna come in. You can put layer 10, or you probably should just put layered Christmas scene or ornament. Um, so that next year when you go to do this, you're not gonna be lost like I am. I was so quick to do this that I did not do that. You should always make your image name good so that you can find it again because it's going to sit in your image library and with all of the Cricut images. So it's going to be hard to find it if you don't name it properly. Okay. All right. So now all of them are in. All you would do is once you bring them in, you select them all, right? So all of them are selected, add to canvas. Now, while they come in, they're going to come in all together grouped for a split second. So now is a good time to, um, to, to resize it. 
Okay, so as soon as they all come in, I know. Let me see here. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab them all because they're gonna come in all scattered, right? Like that. So they're all selected right now. I would go to align, center it all so that it all comes into one. Right now it's 7.875 inches. It's big. I mean 7.8, let's see, it's about this big. So you wanna resize it. Let's resize it to let's say five inches, okay? Now. The designer made it a little funky, so you can kind of see in the panel over here that for instance, this layer comes with all this other stuff. So all you want is the actual layer. So I end up selecting this and deleting it. Okay, so you can hit this, hit the shift key and do a few of them at one time, right? Like that, and just hit the delete button. We only need the layers. The layers the cut layers this is just excess I'm not even sure I just deleted it and once you delete it so here I am I'm gonna delete it with you we're just gonna delete it so that we don't run into any issues and then that way you can see exactly what I see and your screen will match mine so we're deleting and we're almost there I yeah I didn't even bother to do to try to figure out what the designer was doing here but the file was, everything else was so good that I still wanted to make it. All right, so here are all my layers. It's now sized at five inches, right? And then now you can just move it and you can change the colors. They're all like numbered. So you can actually go back to the first one and go to this page. And I copied this. I did the white for layers one, seven, uh, what is that, eight and 10. So you can easily go over here in design space, layers seven, eight, one, I think, whatever, right? <laughs> change it over here to white. Then you can change each color here and just, you know, I picked random colors. It didn't matter. I just wanted it on a separate page because when you go to make it, if you don't do that, some of them will be bunched up on the page and it's a lot easier to change um, the color on that on the canvas than it is to move the sheets here. So that's all that there is. All right, I will see you on the next video and I'm gonna show you how to put it together and do this. And it really, it's just so cute. I would love to do this where, um, you know, if you have kids, like it's kind of fun to put it together. You could also like in this space, let's cancel out of this. I would have done this if I had more time, but gosh, the holiday season has been bananas. <laughs> um, this top layer is, um, it's not this layer, but we can pretend it's this layer. There's a section right here, right? So you could do in vinyl, um, you could do it in HTV, which would be my preference. And I would do, you know, the Stormers 2021 or if you go on vacation, you know, this is a uh, big bear mountain or like whatever it is, right? Or, or you didn't go anywhere. You went, or you went to Hawaii and did a tropical vacation, but you could do Hawaii 2021. So it kind of just, you know, if you started this tradition every year, you could do a scene that depicts um, where you were, like the color scheme or just, you know, a phrase or whatever. I, you know, I'm totally corny and love all that stuff. So, all right, I will see you on the next video. Talk to you guys later. Thank you so much.